Yes, guys, welcome back to the Full On Football channel. We are back again for another match day vlog on Good Friday. We are here today for the first of two games, actually, on Good Friday at Clarence Park for St Albans versus Braintree Town. Now, I say it every week and I'll say it again. Massive game today. It is St Albans, who I believe are seventh against Braintree, who are fifth or fourth or fifth. And there's only about five points between them. So if St Albans win today, they'll be two points away from Braintree. They'll nest themselves further into the playoffs. And, uh, but if Braintree win, they'll get closer to Chelmsford, their rivals, and third themselves also further secure their playoff place but not just this game today it's also huge because at St Albans are also tied on points with Farnborough, Averley and are one point in front of Bath City as well so it's absolutely huge and Hampton and Richmond and I think it's Worthing as well who are also in between St Albans and Braintree all within about five points of each other so about six games left to go here in National South every single game counts and for three points today for either of these two sides would be absolutely massive. Another thing to note as well is this is one of three games St Albans have got at Clarence Park against the playoff hopefuls. They've got Worthing at home coming up and they have also got, I believe it's Hampton Richmond in midweek as well. So three points today and another three points against those two. They'll be cruising and they'll be ready for the playoffs as well because they would have beat the sides who have already qualified for playoffs. We've just got into the ground, it's quite early, not many people here. Um, it's about an hour and 15 to kick off. Oh, my God. 
this is unbelievable. How St. Albans has got at least one, I don't know. This is going to be the difference of making the playoffs or not. Anyway, it doesn't matter. But again, that's another one. Another free header. Oh! It's still safe for the keeper. Another great chance to get in. have scored and they are leading realistically it should be at least 1-1 one, one. how much not 1-1 one, one, I don't know St. Albans missing countless countless chances and just haven't been able to take at least one but they have been dominant in the last five minutes of that first half and they'll be hoping to carry that on into the second half but it is half time St. Albans on the back foot here at Carrick's back When you're locked in, it's in. And that right there for Brainfree is just that. Excellent save, it has to be said, but... Oh, that was close. Again, the Saints pushing for that equaliser. Yeah. Oh, 
you got him. Go on!
has to be said, despite how upset I am with the result that Saints did manage to make a point. These brain free fans here, look at this. Incredible them throughout. The drumming all day, throughout the whole 90 minutes. Didn't stop singing, even though they were on the back foot for the majority of the game. Incredible support from this lot. Good result for them, putting them right up into the playoffs. Two points behind the Really, really good result. Excellent support from this lot as well. Really, really well played. Excellent defensive performance. Really good performance from them. Now taking three points back into the playoffs. Really good performance from them. 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 That mistake early in the 20th minute led to Braintree taking the lead. And then from then on, it was pretty much all St Albans. Had so many chances, countless chances, pretty much straight away after Braintree scored. And we're just unable to put it in the back of the net. Their keeper made some excellent saves. Uh, Sims at the back, so really good performance from him. But at the end of the day, it's, it's three points, or at least a point drop for St Albans. And it's a point or three points that they crucially, crucially need against a team who they... I didn't really need to be beaten if they want to get into the playoffs and go out to the National League. But yeah, as I said at the end there, full credit to the Braintree fans making loads of noise throughout that whole game, drumming all the way through it. And they have picked up a huge, huge three points to take back to Essex. Uh, anyway, ladies and gents, that is East, that is Good Friday part one over with, but we are now heading to Vicarage Road to see what's the take on Leeds. 8pm kickoff. So I'm going to end the vlog here, but hopefully with a bit of luck, the, uh, the Watford v Leeds vlog will be uploaded pretty much straight after this one. So yeah, if you haven't already, please subscribe and I'll see you in the next one.